What if your limbs were constantly getting set ablaze and your organs kept going stiff with rebellion? Every waking moment morphs into your worst nightmare as you slowly become a guest in your own body. Daily life becomes a harrowing challenge and existence turns questionable. This is life for many senior citizens with inflammation. And the worst thing about this scourge is that it's far too common. The good news is that you can avoid it in your old age with just a few steps. The only thing is, the time to do that was yesterday. In this video, we're going to uncover six science-backed sneaker signs of inflammation that you absolutely shouldn't ignore after 50. So, if you're ready to tune into your body's whispers and take proactive steps towards a healthier, more vibrant future, then stick around. Let's get started. Sign 1. Persistent Fatigue We all have days where we feel a bit more tired than usual, maybe after a busy week or a restless night. But what we're talking about here is a fatigue that goes beyond just being tired. It's a deep, lingering exhaustion that doesn't seem to improve with rest. Chronic inflammation can disrupt the body's delicate energy balance. Inflammatory cytokines, which are signaling molecules produced by immune cells during inflammation, can interfere with mitochondrial function, the powerhouses of our cells. This can lead to reduced energy production at a cellular level, leaving you feeling consistently drained. Furthermore, chronic inflammation can impact neurotransmitters in the brain that regulate energy levels and mood, contributing to that feeling of persistent weariness. To give you a better understanding of what persistent fatigue looks like, imagine two people, Sarah and John, both in their 50s. Sarah had always been an active retiree, enjoying gardening, walking her dog, and volunteering at her local library. But over the past year, she found herself increasingly exhausted. Even after a full night's sleep, she'd wake up feeling drained. Her usual activities started to feel like monumental efforts, and she often had to nap during the day just to get by. She initially dismissed it as just getting older and cut back on her activities. John also noticed feeling more tired lately, but he paid closer attention to when it started and what might be contributing. He realized his diet had become less healthy. With more processed foods and fewer fruits and vegetables, he also acknowledged that his stress levels at work were consistently high. Instead of just accepting the fatigue, John decided to consult his doctor. If you're experiencing persistent fatigue that doesn't improve with rest, it's crucial to consult your doctor to rule out any underlying medical conditions. Beyond that, addressing potential inflammation through lifestyle changes can make a significant difference. Prioritizing sleep and especially adopting an anti-inflammatory diet by focusing on whole, unprocessed foods rich in antioxidants, such as fruits, vegetables, fatty fish, like salmon, nuts, and seeds. People living with fatigue, bloating, joint pain, for years without realizing chronic inflammation is what's really behind it. Sign two, digestive issues. The gut is home to trillions of bacteria, collectively known as the gut microbiome. A healthy gut microbiome plays a crucial role in digestion, nutrient absorption, and even immune function. Chronic inflammation in the gut lining, often triggered by an imbalanced microbiome, food sensitivities, or inflammatory bowel conditions, can disrupt these processes. This can lead to a variety of digestive symptoms and even impact nutrient absorption, further contributing to other health issues. Increased intestinal permeability, often referred to as leaky gut, is another consequence of chronic gut inflammation, allowing undigested food particles and toxins to enter the bloodstream, potentially triggering a systemic inflammatory response. 
to further understand how persistent digestive issues might be a potential sign of inflammation, let's take a look at Margaret and David. Margaret had been experiencing frequent bloating and abdominal discomfort for several months. She tried over-the-counter remedies for indigestion, but the symptoms persisted. She assumed it was just a normal part of aging and that her digestive system was simply becoming less efficient so she didn't connect her gut issues to any other health concerns and left it alone. David, on the other hand, also started experiencing more frequent digestive issues, including bloating and occasional diarrhea. However, David had read about the gut-brain axis and the link between gut health and overall well-being. He started paying attention to how different foods made him feel and noticed that processed foods and dairy seemed to worsen his symptoms. And so, he decided to experiment with a more gut-friendly diet. Addressing persistent digestive issues often involves a multi-pronged approach. A dietary change is crucial. Potential trigger foods should be identified and eliminated while increasing intake of fiber-rich foods, fermented foods, and prebiotics. High-quality probiotics help to rebalance bacteria in the gut. However, if your digestive issues are persistent or severe, it's essential to consult a doctor to rule out any underlying medical conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, or inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. Don't forget to like and subscribe. On to the next. If you already have a GI condition, such as inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, celiac disease, or GERD, then your symptoms from these conditions might change. They might get better or they might get worse as you become older. There are also GI conditions with a higher incidence in seniors. Differences result from decades of influencing factors such as diet, lifestyle, medications, disease, overall health, and the aging process itself. Sign 3 joint pain, and stiffness. Some age-related wear and tear on our joints is normal, but chronic inflammation takes things from a 2 to 10. Inflammation is a key player in many forms of arthritis. In osteoarthritis, the cartilage that cushions the joints breaks down, and inflammation contributes to pain and stiffness. In rheumatoid arthritis and autoimmune condition, the immune system mistakenly attacks the joint lining, causing chronic inflammation, pain, swelling, and potentially joint damage. Even without a specific arthritis diagnosis, low-grade systemic inflammation can contribute to general joint aches and stiffness by affecting the synovial fluid that lubricates the joints and the surrounding tissues. Carol had been experiencing increasing knee pain and stiffness, particularly in the mornings. She attributed it to her age and reduced her physical activity, fearing that movement would only make the pain worse. And so she started relying more on pain medication for relief. Robert, on the other hand, also noticed more stiffness in his hips and knees. However, Robert understood that while some joint issues are age-related, inflammation could be a contributing factor. He started incorporating gentle exercises like swimming and walking into his routine to maintain joint mobility. He also focused on eating an anti-inflammatory diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Managing joint pain and stiffness related to inflammation involves a combination of strategies like involving in gentle exercises like walking, swimming, or even cycling, which can improve joint mobility. Developing a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and anti-inflammatory spices. Sign 4. Skin Problems While occasional breakouts or dry skin are common, chronic inflammatory conditions can lead to persistent issues like eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, or unexplained rashes and itching. The skin is the body's largest organ and plays a crucial role in immune defense. 
When the body experiences chronic inflammation, the skin can become a target. In conditions like eczema and psoriasis, the immune system overreacts, leading to inflammation, redness, itching, and skin lesions. Rosacea, characterized by facial redness, flushing, and sometimes bumps, is also believed to have an inflammatory component. Even seemingly minor issues like persistent dry, itchy skin can sometimes be a sign of underlying low-grade inflammation affecting the skin's barrier function. Let's take a look at two approaches to dealing with this problem. Linda had developed a persistent red, itchy rash on her arms. She tried various over-the-counter creams, but the rash kept coming back. She assumed it was just sensitive skin reacting to new soaps or lotions and didn't consider a deeper connection. Mark, on the other hand, had been dealing with flare-ups of rosacea for years. He noticed that his symptoms seemed to worsen after eating certain foods like spicy dishes and red wine. He started to suspect a link between his diet and his skin condition and began tracking his food intake and skin flare-ups. Addressing persistent skin problems often requires a multifaceted approach, which includes identifying triggers, using mild, fragrance-free skin care products, developing a diet rich in antioxidants, and scheduling dermatological appointments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. On to the next. Sign 5. Brain Fog and Memory Issues Occasional forgetfulness is common, of course, but persistent difficulty concentrating or feeling mentally hazy could be linked to chronic inflammation in the brain. Chronic inflammation can negatively impact brain health. Inflammatory molecules can cross the blood-brain barrier, affecting brain cells and interfering with communication, which leads to difficulties with focus and memory. This is why maintaining a healthy inflammatory balance is crucial for optimal brain function as we age. Susan, 61, attributed her increasing brain fog and memory issues to getting older and didn't seek help. Tom, 66, recognized the link between inflammation and brain health. So he focused on a brain-healthy diet, mental stimulation, and spoke to his doctor about his concerns. In order to properly manage this, efforts should be made to support your brain by following a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants, which are crucial for brain cell structure and function. Engage in regular low-impact exercise and mentally stimulating activities like puzzles. Prioritize adequate quality sleep and consult with your doctor if you experience significant or persistent cognitive changes. And inflammation, which is systemic and unresolved, triggers aging in the neighboring cells, which then slowly sets up systemic aging and that manifests into an uh, organism of aging. Our immune system it relies on inflammation, which is very local. So, for example, if you get a scratch, it generates a local inflammatory signature, which allows the recruitment of immune cells to clear the pathogen or the damaged cells and so on and so forth. It needs to resolve. Our body organ gets damaged. If it is not fixed as soon as possible, chronic inflammation leads to systemic aging, and which is called as inflammation. Sign six, mood changes. We're talking persistent mood changes, including increased anxiety, irritability, or even symptoms of depression. While mood fluctuations are a normal part of life, chronic inflammation can play a surprising role in our emotional state. Inflammatory molecules can affect neurotransmitters in the brain, like serotonin and dopamine, which regulate mood. This is a key part of the gut-brain axis, a bi-directional communication system between your digestive system and your brain. When inflammation occurs in one area, it can impact the other, contributing to feelings of anxiety or a low mood. Helen, 64, felt increasingly anxious and irritable and attributed it to aging. 
Paul, 60, on the other hand, also experiencing low mood, saw a connection to his physical health and actively pursued an anti-inflammatory lifestyle and therapy. To help stabilize mood, focus on an anti-inflammatory diet, regular exercise, and stress management. Omega-3 fatty acids are also important for brain health. If mood changes are persistent, consult with a mental health professional and your doctor. So there you have it, folks. Six sneaky signs of inflammation you shouldn't ignore after 50. Remember, by tuning in, you can take control of your health. Embracing an anti-inflammatory diet and lifestyle are powerful tools. What steps have you taken to address inflammation? Share your experiences in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for more tips.